Hello everyone and welcome to another video of U-Boat in our career with U31. In the last one, well, we had to resort to some, yeah, not that usual ways of dealing with a surface ship, given that we ran out of ammo for our deck gun. And we did a simultaneous attack on uh, a couple of enemy ships and, uh, yeah, torpedoes did what our torpedoes do and one of them escapes. I'm not going to chase him because I don't have any ammo for the deck gun and honestly 20 mm <laughs> can do only so much. Uh, that one, the, the, in the previous episode, we did hit that ship with some deck gun, but uh, yeah, we finished it off with the machine gun. Um, yeah, well, we are on the west of France and we are going to continue with our patrol, of which we have uh, around two thirds of the way to complete. Okay, we do have a contact on the surface, uh, which is strange because I did a sound check not that long ago and I hear nothing. Okay, they, they, uh, there they are. Seems to be westbound. Ooh, tanker! That's a deal, that's a tanker! Amazing. And this is a three, uh, C3, that's a very big boat. Uh, oh, they are sailing almost. Mm, we have to choose one. Unless, maybe? No, they are sa sailing one besides the other. I'm going to go for the tanker, that's a um, no-brainer. Okay, um, first of all, I'm going to slow down. And I'm going to... Okay, mark it. Maybe we can do a simultaneous attack, I don't know. Um, torpedoes are ready, so no need to preheat them. You go to the listener room, you go to the command room, uh, you stay there for the time being. Uh, okay. They are going southwest. We'll find out exactly the course in a few minutes. Or a few seconds, actually. Yeah. The way, I mean, they are super overlapped. I can try to sneak a torpedo to, to the other one. Depends on how close we are. First we fire at the one behind and then we fire at the one in front. Uh, I don't know. Okay. The thing is, they are so big, both of them, that I want both of them. <laughs> okay. Um, a little bit less, come on, here. 300. Oh, that's quite a bit. And it's a course of... B35. B35. And just for the sake of it, we're going to do the same with this one. 335. More or less. Uh, 300 is 10 knots. I'm going to double check that. Okay, 335. 235 we need 315 315 come on ah. okay 315 not gonna fight it um Yeah, I want to check it again because that's really fast. Well, those ships are well able to to sail at 10 knots, but I mean, there's nothing wrong in making sure, right? As soon as we are done with the calculation, we will dive. Okay. Okay. 
290. Yeah, almost 300. Um, let's go there. Um, you can go. Yeah, it's 10 knots. It's 10 knots. Okay, go into the solar room. You improve the skipping. And looking at the picture, I'm realizing it's actually 335. 325, sorry. It's 235 plus 90. So we are in a perfect square core or perpendicular course. Okay. Distance to the track. Currently 1.8 kilometers. We can begin slowing down. Slow ahead. And uh, let's begin. Setting our attack. There it is. British and British also red flag. That's a red ensign. Okay, ten knots. Ten knots. Two thirty five. Distance, who cares? But here we need to do it correctly. Okay, we are it's at nineteen to starboard or so. Nineteen to starboard. Click, 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 and we should be set. Um, actually, the way they are moving, yeah, we probably can shoot at both of them. Then again, what I don't know is, I guess they are moving at the same speed, but then why is this one overtaking this one? Oof. Okay. Of course, let's identify it. It's a British ship. Is a tanker, it's a Dale. Okay, as for you, you are a freighter, and I think you are a C3, which you are. Which you are also going at the knots, 235. Who cares? All right, we are set. Uh, this has our track. Two kilometers to the further, 1.7 to the closer. Okay. Okay, they are moving in. Distance. Come on. Distance to the track. That should be enough. Slow down. Uh, there. Up scope. Yeah, I think we can send two at this, two at this. Hopefully they work, the torpedoes, I mean. Let me check, I do have T2, T2, T1, T1. T2 is to this guy, T1 is to this guy. We fire first at... Ah, we should fire first at the guy behind, but then they are not going to be perpendicular. Ugh. That's awesome. I'm going to try it, but the chances that the torpedoes don't work well 
He's pretty high. Okay. Let's so at zero is going to be pure ninety. And I need to unlock this there. Your ninety there. At the notch and uh, we need to fire at this bearing, right? So what I'm going to no 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 that no, this bearing is over. At this bearing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to split the different <coughs> difference, meaning I'm going to add 10 degrees. With 10 degrees, we will impact at uh, around 100 or so degrees. And uh, then we'll fire at the, <coughs> at the 4-1. And probably what I can do is to use faster settings yeah okay I'm going to try to explain this I'm going to use slow I mean it's lagging behind this is not going at 10 knots uh, I'm going to explain whatever I was going to explain I'll do it later first I'm going to double check the speed of these sieves. I'm almost stopped, but I want to be completely stopped. Stop. And I have to be quick here. Uh, okay. There. There. Come on. No. No, no, no. Not sure what was happening there. Scott is maiden. Need to be very quick because they are moving fast and we are very close and yeah. That's a bit. No. Damn it. I don't use this a lot and it's obvious. <laughs> We're going to fire where we are at 15 or so, or 25. Well, 25 for the aft Y. And... Uh, I was doing it... Okay, I know what happened. I was doing it without being locked. Which is a big no no, it seems, because <laughs> look at this speed. <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> Suborbital Scottish Maiden. <laughs> Crossing the seas at very high pace. Okay. Enough of the stupidity. <laughs> and. Stop. Set. Nine knots, and you maybe they have a slow down a bit. I don't know. This way is loaded with guns, by the way. Well, mostly AA, I guess. Those don't seem like foreign guns. 
which was a usual thing on, on Mercants to have one or two of those unless they were armed, armed, armed Mercant ships to escort and such nine knots, yeah okay, let's see if I can explain what I was going to do I'm not going to be able to I'm going to fire at this guy and um, then see what this guy does because they are super apart from each other okay yeah what, what, what I was saying is if he was just there I mean just behind like here fire slow torpedoes at these guys slow torpedoes take longer of course so has more time to travel and fast torpedoes to these guys to this guy why fast torpedoes because if they are faster I'm going to try to explain it if with slow torpedoes I have to aim here with faster torpedoes I have to aim here or so right because again is faster they are going faster they're going to take less time the ship has less time to cross my screen or my bow um, that way I would increase the angle on the second ship I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly or if I understood what I was saying but that was the train of thought uh, if you have any questions well feel free to ask and I try to clear it, up, clear it up in the comment section below right now of course I'm at several things at the same time and it's not exactly easy okay let's unlock everything and um, let me check yeah almost nine knots almost to the point it's pretty strange but I'm glad I did that that second uh, second take okay yeah, so what I want to do is just to fire two at the at the um, tanker and whatever goes to the other well actually if I'm going to do that I might as well do it so they are 35 15 degrees apart okay let's do it this way fast settings Fast setting at three there. I mean, if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, right? So that is, this guy is coming in close. Let's fire at this dude first. With fast settings, he's not going to be a perpendicular hit. Close. I mean, it's better than nothing. And fire. No. Fast and back here. Change to 30. Check. That's a dog barking, sorry. And fire one. And yeah, the dog is barking, and I'm going to sing. Hopefully. A transport. Or two. Yeah, that's a very acute angle. I don't think this is going to work. Um, let's see. Torpedo. 
And also they are moving faster than I thought. Check it out. Oh, I'm going to move with the second one. Okay. Well, I have to try. As for this guy. Oh my gosh. I mean, the other one, yes, but this, why? Oh my lord. One mystery dots. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Zu I mean the first dab I'm going to accept it. It was a high on uh, hit, but these two you motherfuckers. Sorry. Okay. We'll let them pass, we will overtake them and try again. Uh, my. We only have two torpedoes left. In the bow mounts. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to let them pass and uh, I'll open the angle. Move there, then go southwest and try to get ahead and uh, I'll go for the tanker. I mean, yeah, out of the two, the tanker is probably the most important one. Oh, that sucks. Okay, they are far away. Enough for us to try to repeat the attack. Yep. Yeah. Very far away, so let's order also two, three, five. Okay, there they are. Seems they have changed course. Yeah, they have. Okay. So down here. Down here. Down here. Very well, we are almost abreast of them. That means that anything we go on for now, we will be gaining. I'm in a course of 2, 3, 5, 6, so I'm guessing they are in a very similar course. Um, maybe... Okay, I'm going to assume 2, 2 60 as their base course. They are here, 260, it's like so. They were throwing at 10 knots, I'm moving at 15, well, I'm turning around, 6, 17, so around 70% faster. Yeah, with this course, we should be in front of them and able to close in for the kill. Uh, hopefully this time, yeah, this time the torpedoes work. Okay. Yeah, we are gaining on them. Let's be a little bit more precise here. They are moving fast again, I think. Okay. So I need to... Properly anticipate where they are going to be when I close in. I can't be on the surface moving at this speed for Berlingo because even at this distance there's a chance that they see us. But then again, we really need to go this fast. To reposition ourselves for a proper attack. 18 knots, <laughs> that's a little bit optimistic for a U-boat. <laughs> But not gonna complain. Well, it's varying. It's varying. It's going up and down, up and down as we rise and fall through the waves. Okay. 
ワンしたレスファインデプロパルコース259 I was very close 270 that's 7 knots no that's 8 knots right let me check that's almost 9 knots no they haven't slowed down so we are moving at twice the speed more or less uh, you can go to commanding And uh, we can give you a sailor. Yeah. Okay, so we can delete this one. So two, so three sixty. We need to go to three sixty. If we start going now, at, damn it! Don't know what this happens, but infuriates me when it happens. So if we start going at 360, 350 right now, no, 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 it's 260 plus 90, yeah, 350. Well, more or less here, yeah. okay. So, range for them, six, six kilometers almost. Yeah, six kilometers or so for me. Seven kilometers. Yeah, I'm, no, 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 they're, they're, they're like this. Yeah, I'm going to being closing on the track okay I think it's enough um, three forty nine well forty eight one degree more one degree less and as soon as we are in the proper course we will dive Come underwater at pretty high speed, close into the track and wait for them to pass. And cross fingers, this time the torpedo will work. Okay, we are at our course. Periscope death. And you go to death keeping. To death keeping. He doesn't want to. Okay, death keeping. He doesn't want either. Maybe we need to be underwater for that. Doesn't make a lot of sense because there. Because that's operation of the dive planes and those are important in the surface as well. So okay. Now we go. Okay, so we are. 4.5 kilometers and they are 5.3 they are moving at 9 knots and moving at 8 we are going to need to keep this speed in order to make a proper intercept uh, are the torpedoes preheated? I think so let me check yeah they are, ok ok, distance to the track 2.4 kilometers. Okay, we can slow down. And a periscope. Let's work this solution. There. Look. We know it's 9. Course 259. Distance. Who cares? It's a day class at zero is going to be ninety degrees. Click, click. It's 
said name again. Okay. Everything is set. Very well. Look. Um, I want to be here. With it here, we'll slow down. Okay, perfectly done. We are where we want. That was a, a pretty nice navigation, if I may say so myself. Okay. Everything is ready, everything is ready. It's almost there, but no, not quite there. There. And uh, it's a 30 gem. The speed of the torpedo is just, it's, a, it's a 30, okay. Uh, here we can already slow down. Okay, 20 RPM. I hope this time the torpedoes work. Otherwise it's going to be very annoying. <laughs> and there's the dog barking again. I don't know if you can hear him, but I do. That's mine, by the way, that's my dog. Poor little thing. He's 14 years old. <laughs> very old. And whenever someone passes close to to our door in the street he begins barking like hey hey i'm here be careful and we are hitting propellers where no here an in info that they are going south so not interested okay we are coming close There. Rot zwei, bewässern. Those are pretty deep, but with 3.5, I think we are. Rot zwei, fertig. We are correct. Okay. Same as before. One here, one here. And for the love of everything that's holy, please this time work. This is a very big tanker and I want it. Okay. And ready in a second. Los! Ruhe 3! Bewässern! Fire. Los! How are we looking? Yeah, they are moving pretty straight up. Yeah, as it, as they should. Well, I, no. I don't need an interception course. Will you work this time, please? Yes, just do so. Just do it. And... Okay. Oh. 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 Both of them went off. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Yeah. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Yeah. That's why I love tankers. 
Well, I think this guy is no longer for this world. Um, I might want to try. Desperation sword on this guy with the after torpedo. Okay, so we need a course of one six six. One six. Yeah. Oh, already? That's quick. That was quick. Uh, okay, I'm going to re engage the propeller and we'll take a look at what's going on here. Well, what's going on is a ship going down. As for the other dude, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try a stern shot. And down she goes. Okay, we are at the proper angle. So you, I'm guessing you are going to go at the same speed. But as you are zigzagging, I'm going to put a little bit less, like seven knots. This course, the same distance, don't really care. Uh, C3 class, yeah, we know that. This is a pure speculative shot, again. So, it's an aft shot. Uh, he's zigzagging, so I'm guessing he's going to begin sweeping that way. It's in uh, currently 70 or so. Oh my god, the dog is driving me nuts. And I'm going to estimate seven and a half. I'm going to send it fast as well. Because that way the errors are minimal. And uh, lastly is yeah, around one point two kilometers, so I'm going to put that, okay. And um, yeah, there goes nothing. No! no, it's turning this way. Oh, I'm going to miss. Yeah, it's turning towards, not away. Um, seems it's slow down as well. Ah, just as I thought, damn it. Yeah. That's not gonna... no. I thought he was on the other side of the Sirsa. And he's not going to be by much. Looky, looky. Not by much, but it's going to miss. That's... Oh no, no, it's not going to miss. But it's, it's going to work. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> it did work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, alright, okay. <laughs> RNG gives, RNG takes. What I don't like is, yeah, he was just, I mean, he was in the middle of the, of those boats. <laughs> oh 
Oh, look! Wow! Wow, that's unexpected. So much inclination. Wow. Um, yeah, how do I... I want to reload that after Pido. And uh, you please go get it done. Uh, ooh. Really? I wasn't expecting this. They are abandoning ship. Because it's just one torpedo. On the bows. I don't know what did I hit. That was so important there, but wow. That... That was an overachieving torpedo for sure. Oh my. Okay, um begin reversing course then. We're going to need to rescue some British men on their lifeboats. No no I was not expecting this at all. I mean I was expecting a hit, maybe for him to slow down so I could finish him with my last torpedo. But not gonna complain. It's just that one torpedo on something this big, I mean, it's almost 8,000 tons. Well, we, with the tanker, we just netted almost 20,000 tons. That's. And then he's going down. He's going down. Ladies and gentlemen, we scored a hit. An almost unbelievable hit. Well past well, 90 degrees, that was maybe 70, 60 on the bows, and it sinks the ship. I'm thoroughly impressed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And yeah, this guy had a. This is probably a 5 inch or 6 inch gun. Alright! Well, I mean, I'm far from complaining. I'm seriously far from complaining. That was, I mean, I guess we got all the luck we lacked in the first go. Yeah, and then they say the second parts aren't, are always worse than the first. Well, in the second pass, we did much better than in the first. That's for sure. Um, good news, we sank both ships. Bad news, we had one torpedo left. <laughs> but I guess that's a worry for the next episode. Lest um, we can collect prisoners. So we are going to just leave them some supplies and we'll call it a video, I guess, because, yeah. That was... I mean, I, I was still stunned. <laughs> okay. Here we are. All the torpedoes very close on to each other. And by the way, that that freighter really... Just on top of the... Of the surviving guys of the other ship. I mean, he was plowing through them. That's not cool. Let's give them some supplies. And uh, yeah, let's get away. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I mean, in a very positive note, <laughs> because that last attack, well, three torpedoes, three exploded, and one of them in, in a 
in an angle I did totally not expect to also in a very rough shot making a fast calculation um, maybe with more time maybe I will explain how I calculated that because when a target is zigzagging you need to calculate from the starting point where they are going to be and adjust the AOB accordingly and the speed accordingly I mean even if they are going to maybe at 9 knots you know they are turning so the apparent speed of your screen will be lesser I, I will probably call it in another video but yeah I'm very happy with that very happy even though he was zigzagging in the direction I was not expecting to it worked so yeah that's going to be it for today guys I hope you enjoyed it this was a very successful episode I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy um, I hope you are happy as well I hope you enjoyed it if you did so please give me a like you know you do algorithm all that yes anything you want to comment anything you want to ask anything you want to say in the comment section below and uh, as always uh, thank you very much for watching and see you later